Thanks. Brought to you by Entrylinks, and here's Kevin. Thank you, Dennis, and good morning, everyone. Billy Estes is here. We're going to talk about a lot of things going on at the uh, Midwest Theater, including, of course, the number one thing going on this uh, summer, at least uh, uh, through the first part of July, anywhere, anyway, and that's Glenn Miller, right? Yeah, the uh, world-famous Glenn Miller Orchestra is going to return for a visit for a nice summer evening concert on Wednesday, July 6th. Uh, so we're excited to have them coming back for what would be their fourth concert in the theater. The last three shows they've had, they've sold out. Uh, so we're excited about having them come back and give us a treat. All right. Uh, you had ticket sales start on May 18th. Uh, tickets have been on sale for almost a month, and they are moving quite quickly. But they're still, as of yesterday, there was about 140, 150 tickets left on the main floor. Well, so they are moving you know, quickly. They're, they're, they? they're selling, so if you want to be on the main floor, encourage you to call or log on or stop by. Um, tickets are $20 for non-members for reserved seating, $15 for members, and then all the tickets in the balcony uh, are general admission, and they're $15 as well. All right. So, good deal. And uh, they are, uh, they really wanted to come here bad because uh, they the, called, the, they called the, us route, the route they're using to get here. It's not what I would consider quite a route of date, <laughs> but uh, their, uh, their manager has and he's like, we really like playing your venue, and that's what he's told us every time after they've left. And he says, we have a date, and we need to fill it, and we want to come play in Scott's Bluff. We want to come see you again. So that's, to me, that's a big compliment to the community. You know, they uh, they enjoy the crowd that we always seem to pull in. And so let's, let's, let's show them Scott's Bluff's best again. All right. That's great. So mm -hmm. you can uh, call 632-4311, stop by the office at the Midwest, and we're there 9 to 4, or you can buy online anytime at midwesttheater.com. All right, that's wonderful. The tickets are going, uh, selling so well for that. Now, let's talk about uh, community cinema. And uh, uh, you watched this movie, I guess, last night, yeah, right? I just uh, finally, after you know having it on my desk since August last year, finally got around to watching our June community cinema film called Two Spirits. This is the last of this current season uh, that we're going to have. Uh, the film uh, addresses from the Navajo or the Native perspective uh, of someone being two-spirited uh, in gender and identity, and it was uh, really interesting. Followed a, a, f uh, a hate crime murder that happened down in Cortez, uh, I forget how long ago, probably 10 years ago or so, uh, Fred, um, and how the community kind of came around and embraced him, and, and the difference between you know Native American culture and, and religion and, and the way Western culture and religion treats two-spirited people as a, as a, as a as an interesting perspective and the film was a uh, was a great watch and I even watched it with my kids last night and we had an interesting discussion about it so uh, community cinema is about talking that's, and so, about, that's what it's about you know come down to the theater that's going to be a week from tomorrow uh, the 23rd that's at seven o'clock um, excuse me 7 30 and admission is free and so up and then community cinema will take a two month hiatus and we'll start back up again in September. Yeah, uh, and, and you're getting uh, more and more response out of the community cinema stuff. You right? know, we've been averaging 70 ish or so people at every screen. You know, some of them a little less and some of them a little more, but uh, we've had a great season, you know, and, and, and it wouldn't be possible, you know, without the support and the partnership with, uh, you know, NET Television out of Lincoln and then, of course, uh, you know, Nebraska Humanities Council supported this with some financially this year to support it. And then we've had a great moderator, Colin Croft, that has been helping us out for our third season. And hopefully I call him every so often. Hopefully Colin will be coming back next things. season. I haven't asked him yet, but here we're going to guilt him in right here on the radio. So hopefully he'll be back uh, again to moderate for our fourth season with us. And uh, I think Community Cinema has complemented the programming at the theater. Uh, it's just brought another dynamic in that we haven't had or didn't have prior to that as well. I love great. documentary films and come down and watch one of those. All right, that's a week from tomorrow. Yes. Uh, Two Spirits over at the Midwest Theater. We're going to talk about uh, other things going on right after this. Mega Mind. I may not have the money that was for our small business. But it's really keeping you guys got a lot of good stuff. We have a movie the following weekend, but I don't have a book yet. Oh, okay. But, uh, we're going to show movies all summer that we don't have something else going. 
All right, we are back and talking to Billy Estes about uh, stuff going on at the Midwest Theater. By the way, a uh, reminder, you better get those Glenn Miller tickets, especially if you want to sit in the lower level. They only have about 140 left. So uh, give Billy a call over at the Midwest Theater or log on at uh, midwesttheater.com and uh, get your tickets for that. And it's coming up on July 6th. And uh, one of the other things you guys have, of course, during the summer is the big uh, matinee madness movie list. Yes. You had one of my favorites, Ramona and Beezus. I know. I probably have to hand in my man card. But uh, <laughs> nevertheless, I liked Ramona and Beezus. What can I say? Yeah. Maybe it was because I was watching it with my grandkids. Well, I would say I don't know. 610 people agree with you last week. They enjoyed it as well. Yeah, so, uh, it's a good show. But uh, tomorrow on tap for summer movies, we have Megamind. Um, should be, I've not seen it, it has Will Ferrell's voice in it, and I forget, uh, Tina Fey. You know, oh, Tina you know, Fey. Lovely, yeah. you know, Saturday Night Live uh, alumnus, so, so it should be, should be wonderful. Uh, I hope that I have a mind at the end of the day tomorrow. If we have another 700 people, it could be interesting, but uh, always great. There's never a dull moment during summer movies, and there's a reason that we call it Summer Matinee Madness, and because it's kind of crazy. Doors open 1245, uh, Tickets are three dollars for members and students under twelve, and five dollars for all others. So just our normal uh, ticket supply. Coupons are long been sold out, uh, but you can still get tickets at the door for the rest of the movies. Uh, June thirtieth, we have Despicable Me on tap. July seventh, How to Train Your Dragon, Kung Fu Panda on July fourteenth, and then finishing them up on July twenty-first with Nanny McPhee Returns. All right. So those are all online. If you, you know, want to find out more about each one of them at midwesttheater.com while you're there sign up for our email newsletter it'll show up in your inbox every Thursday and uh, you know what's going on with the theater alright Despicable Me is good How to Train Your Dragon is good seen both of those I've not seen Kung Fu Panda I don't know you need why. to watch Kung Fu Panda I don't know why I have not a seen a panda that. can do some moves yeah yes. and I'm sure Katie's got it at home somewhere Katie and Joe probably have it at the house so I'm sure somehow I'll get it I'll get it watched we'll bring them down alright Okay. All right. Very good. So 